for those that you don't that don't know who are new to my channel it's your girl morgan and i am happy to be doing another wig install look at this wig y'all like look at this wig so beautiful so beautiful i bleached the knots i didn't do any plucking i just left it how it was but i bleached the knots you know all that stuff installed it and it's just i'm just so happy about this wig like don't look at my indentation i just took my scarf off but i'm just happy about this wig it is so pretty i can't wait for you guys to see this install i think a highlight wig just does it for me especially with the curls yes girl it's definitely giving but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe and let's get into it okay y'all so i'm just unboxing showing y'all what they sent me the box um this wig is 180 density and it's a 28 inch wig and so I, they just sent me like a wig band and a wig cap that's it that's fine but i did use my own wig cap the ball cap you know i liked it my ball cap thing but anyways here's me showing you the wig i did bleach these knots um with 40 developer i left the bleach on for like 30 minutes so the knots bleached pretty quick and they bleached well so i was really happy about that so this is me doing my ball cap method which you've seen so many times before um so yeah i'm just gonna shut up and let you watch okay so you're gonna see me use my l'oreal true match i've always used this but i have tried something you new y'all and it has been a game changer for me and i'm gonna show you in the video so keep watching So usually I tie my um, little cap I tie the two ends in the back to give it like somewhere for my end clip to hook on like my back clip the back clip of the wig for it to hook on so it's not you know loose you you guys know what I mean you wear wigs you know what I mean but that's what I'm doing there and so I'm just trying the wig on just seeing where I want it placing it and I really like this wig, y'all. Like, I really liked it. So I could not find my wig glue, so I just had to use this little wig glue because I want to I want to get this wig on and done. Um, so it's the exact same wig glue that I would use the um, even the black even wig glue, but actually this one worked better than the one in the tube for some reason. I don't know, but yeah. So I am just using that, and I'm gonna do two coats of this. You're gonna see that this is me doing the second coat after the first coat was all clear and not dry, but you know, tacky.
all right y'all so now that that second coat is clear and ready i am going to be putting my wig down and pressing my comb into my wig also my fingers just really trying to you know get it on there and so yeah one thing i didn't like about this wig was when i first got it the density didn't feel it doesn't feel 180 density i feel like maybe like 160 but not 180. tie my bands like super tight on my head but I tied it and then I showed me taking it off because I didn't want you to let me sit for an hour of course so now I'm using my facial scissors to cut but I am using my facial razor to actually take off the lace So now after everything is cut, after everything is laid down, it just it just really looked well. Like I didn't even have to pluck the hair that much. Like it just really did it for me. So now I'm just doing my part. I kind of do my part off camera because I needed to be close to the mirror, like face to the mirror when I was doing my part. So I'm just using some hair wax to just slick it down. So make sure everything is just coming together seamlessly, you know. I I had to do my dance, you know. Okay, so you see how I over bleached that is a no no. We're gonna fix that real quick with some mascara. I'm wiping it off a little because I don't want too much mascara on my wig. It'll make it look matte, just not cute. But um, so I'm putting the mascara on just to define my part and get rid of that bleachy area and then back to hot combing it. Okay, so this is the next day. I haven't given y'all a next day in a while, so I figured I'd do that. So now I'm just putting on some heat protectant just to make my hair look more glossy as I take down the wig. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I had it in braids overnight and then I had it, you know, my lace really wrapped up and it's just coming apart so pretty. Like the braided style is coming across so pretty. So 
so I did end up just taking some hair scissors and just framing my face a little bit more giving me a little bit of layer when it comes to the curl so that's what I'm doing now So this is one style that I was just like, I'm gonna do this really quick. I just wanted to have fun with it because I really love curly hair. Like curly hair is just so pretty. And then I love the highlights, the brown, like it was just doing it for me. So I put in some little braids to show you how like it'll look braided like that. Okay, so here is a close-up of the lace. It just looks so nice. It's put together so well. I just love it. So I started using bronzer, Neutrogena bronzer, like a lighter bronzer for my lace, and it just blends so much better. All right, I want to thank you guys for tuning into this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more, and make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.